In this video I will show how to create animated uh, file. Let's see what we have in our archive, our base tools. It's uh, our action animated file, file brushes, file patterns. Uh, let's install them. Let's install our action. Select, open, yep. Uh, our action have uh, two steps. The first step is creating a static image and uh, the second step uh, it's about creating animation. If you want to add animation, click and play. Uh, okay, let's install our brushes and patterns. The easy way uh, install them via Preset Manager. Click load, five brushes, yep, uh, select uh, our patterns, the same steps, five patterns. Uh, okay, uh, we, you can also install brushes from uh, window, this, load brushes. Okay, let's start to work and see what we get at finally. Uh, first, we need to create uh, a layer with name mask. I have prepared mask because uh, I want to save our time. And after, we need to create another layer with name fire without any caps. Yep. And there is an area where you want to see the fire effect. Uh, the simpler way to do it, select uh, mask, make select, select soft brush, maybe orange or any color as you wish, and maybe turn off for a while, and draw over our important, important things, uh, increase opacity to 100%. And draw the line where we want to see. Okay. Turn off our layer mask. Uh, select create static image. Let's play. Yep, it's our base results. Uh, for example, uh, you don't like um, these results, you don't like a fire, a smoke. Don't worry, select all folders and layers uh, that's created and delete. And play action again. You can do it unlimited times. Okay, let's work with this uh, result. Let's see what we have in our folder. Uh, it's folder about environment. Uh, that's include our background, our smoke, buggy smoke, and our render uh, clouds. Okay, uh, you can change gradient. For example, make less our clouds, uh, crowns, it's a smoke. Also, you can select and scale.
its controller uh, to make route more darker or lighter uh, ground lights Uh, the folder body includes uh, uh, about all about our schools. It's half shadow. If you want to make more lighter, just increase the opacity. Uh, play with color balance if you want to uh, make difference tone I call red and more yellow uh, and if you want to create uh, and add some glow on edge select add inner glow select soft brush uh, it's maybe uh, orange or yellow color and try to draw over our schools let's see what we have with another color Okay, uh, it's layer about smoke. Also, you can draw over mask, make a smoke or add more smoke anyway, as you wish. Uh, coal parts, it's a burning coal texture. You can turn off or turn on this layer. Uh, also, you can increase the opacity or add uh, additional area of coal texture. For this, uh, select coal, select brush, soft brush, and try over paint over our school. Okay, maybe this, this area, okay, uh, over flames and under flames, it's all about our fire, also you can uh, draw over mask <coughs> and add more fire. Let's turn on for, the, for a while our coal parts. Uh, you can select flames, scale them, rotate to find the best place. The same as these layers. Flame contrast, it's our sparks folder. It's easy to understand that small parks is a dust and our main sparks. Uh, our lights. And of course our color correction folder. Uh, play with gradient. You can choose from this window or create your own gradient. Make environment 
star player. Okay. Okay. Uh, color contrast, it's overall contrast. Just increase or, da, uh, or up opacity. Contrast, brightness, and overall tone. I think you know how uh, to use this photo filter. Okay. Uh, uh, let's add the animation. Oh, one more thing. Uh, you can add additional element as uh, a smoke. Create new layer. Give this some um, any name. Add, for example. Select our smoke and maybe add some smoke. Okay, uh, let's add our animation. Maybe uh, if you want to add uh, before we uh, start uh, the second step, uh, also you can add some typo, for example, test. Okay, and let's create the, our animation. Uh, we need to see our timeline. Uh, for this, click on window and select timeline. Okay, select our second step and play action. Let's see what we get is finally. And press on this button, it's play. Let's see what we have. We get the animated fire and the animated background as a smoke. Okay, uh, and let's save as ng format, file, export, save for web, we need to wait a couple of minutes because the Photoshop calculate uh, all the frames and we, we need to wait
okay uh, I don't uh, it's too much uh, for me maybe on the for the web uh, let's increase our resolution for example 800 it's too big size uh, but when we increase the resolution this will be uh, very good size and be sure that uh, the looping option uh, set to forever for looping animation Okay, four megabyte is very uh, small size. Let's up our color. Okay, and set the looping option and click save. see what we have it finally yep it's cool animation uh, if you any question about this action write me uh, through my profile on graphic river uh, okay thanks for watching uh, bye and enjoy